Hey guys, Pedro Morales with Morales Outdoors. So this is the first part of the video series that I'm going to be doing here uh, on my Morales Outdoors Facebook page. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is making some stack sticks out of uh, three pounds of venison ground that I shot myself. And what I'll be using is the High Mountain Pepper Seasoning. Uh, it's a great product. I really like it and it's very easy to use. Um, what's really nice about these as well and any other seasoning, I mean you can go on YouTube or anything else and find other recipes and they all look great. Um, this is easy, it's got the cure in it and the seasoning and then you can add seasonings on top of it to add whatever flavoring that you want to. So I'm going to start off uh, with this video, they're all going to be live, no editing. So what you see is what you get. I'm going to start off with uh, opening my defrosted packages of ground venison. Just add it into a bowl that you can mix. This uh, recipe that I'm using here and this product that I'm using, you don't have to use ground venison. Uh, you can do the same thing with ground beef or any other meat that you want, elk, turkey, chicken, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Right here is three pounds of the ground venison. Uh, following the instructions on the chart uh, for using these seasonings for snack sticks, we're using three pounds, so it's asking for two tablespoons and one and a half teaspoons. So my tablespoon is this. Honey, can you open this for me? My hands are a little fucked up. <laughs> I know, for real. And my venison was mixed with 20% uh, ground pork. I don't like using beef. I use ground pork because it binds better with it. So we're going to do two tablespoons and one and a half teaspoons. So it's going to be one, two, that's one, because these are half. That makes two. And then we got one and a half teaspoons. One teaspoon. And my half. Now that's for the seasoning. Now for the cure, it asks for two tablespoons of the cure. So that would be four halves. This is the cure that comes with it. Kind of a yellowish color. One, two, three, four. So that's the two tablespoons that it asked for. And with this product, it's going to ask you, especially for the ground, to use a quarter of a cup of cold water per pound of meat. So we have three quarters of a cup that I had in the freezer. I'm going to pour that right in there. And we're going to mix her up. 
Alrighty then. Now you want to mix this up until the meat gets really tacky. So you want to mix it up really good. You want it to be really sticky when you do this. Please make sure you guys wash your hands first. Very important. So basically, it'll it'll take about five minutes to do this. So this is the end of this video. I'm going to continue to go. And if you guys want to continue to see more, come back. Thanks for watching.